Hey, what's up, everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and today I'm going to try to improve my time. It's actually my time from earlier today on this model, the 24-04-01 practice model. This is one of the free models that you'll find in the library at TooTallToby.com. So if we go to TooTallToby.com and create a free account, and then we click in here, we've got some 2D to 3D challenges that are free. And then if you really enjoy the app, you can sign up for the premium membership and unlock the entire library. Well, one of these models, it's free free is one that I did a little earlier today, 24-04-01, this model here. And if we go into this model, we can see here that our time was 11 minutes and four seconds. Well, the average time is four minutes and 48 seconds. And so tonight, what I'm going to try to do is improve my time from earlier today and beat that average time. That's going to be my goal. So here we go. I'm going to click this try again button here in the app. Try again. And here we can see that we can reveal the drawing and go. So in my earlier video, I talked about my kind of game plan for this model. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this over onto the second screen. I'm gonna just bring up my mouse and keyboard here and let's get into it and see if we can improve our time from earlier. So we're gonna choose create document. I'm gonna call this 24-04-01. Uh, I'll just call this uh, gauge base. And let's go to the front plane here in on shape. S key, begin a sketch. N key to get normal to. S key to begin the line command. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over with the line at a distance of 150 slash 2. Save me having to put in that dimension a little bit later. I'm going to come up with a line here at 11 millimeters. Come up with a line at an angle here. Come over here to the middle of the part. And then I'm going to press Q. And then I'm going to create a line that comes down here to the origin. And then I'm going to let go of my mouse and I'm going to type in 40 and and that gives me the height of that sketch. So now all that's left to do is hit escape, take this geometry and mirror it across, and then S key, go back into my dimension command and create a dimension that goes from this point to this point with a value of 50 millimeters. Look at that. Look at how quickly we were able to create that fully constrained sketch. So now I'm going to take that sketch. I'm going to S key extrude tab 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 we're going to type in 33 here for the depth of that extrusion tab 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 space bar for symmetry and enter now we're going to go to this front surface s key begin a sketch n key to get normal to we're going to create a center point rectangle and this rectangle is going to have the dimensions to locate those holes 33 center to center and 20 off of the base so now we can hit escape to get out of the rectangle command click this line click this edge and press i to make those two coincident and that fully constrains that sketch we're going to exit that sketch and jump into the hole command and once we jump into the hole command we're going to say we want to make a simple hole using metric metric simple and then we'll put in a diameter here of six millimeters and we will pick this point and this point from our previous sketch of the rectangle. And there we go, we've got those holes running through. In the definition of the hole there, we said we wanted that to go through for the end condition. And so now for our final hole, we're gonna make a hole up top here, right at the center of this face. And we're gonna do that by launching the hole command, going to counter bore, metric counter bore. And then the dimensions for this thing are gonna be 12, tab, 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 uh, 22, tab and six tab and then for the location we're going to use this button here select mate connectors so you click that button go out onto this face here and the mate connector will automatically pick up on the center of that face so we're going to hit the green check mark and then we're going to come down here we're not going to change the color because we're trying to beat our earlier time so we're just going to say assign material and this material is going to come from the two tall toby custom library that way we're sure that we have the correct density this is going to be abs for the material we're going to hit the green check mark and we're going to come down here in the corner kind of behind the clock we're going to choose mass properties so mass properties we click on this part and we're coming up with a mass of 145 so we go down here into the box 145 enter and yes we did it so we'll move this over here and we see it says congratulations this answer is correct but you already knew this as you have already completed this practice model. The correct answer is 145. This time, our time is three minutes and 10 seconds. So we are going to update our previous submission of 11 minutes and four seconds to this nice three minutes and 10 seconds. I'm going to choose submit. And are you sure you want to proceed? And I'm going to say yes. And 
boom, our time is updated. We can see here now that our time is three minutes and 10 seconds. And so now the average time is four minutes, 47 seconds, and our time is three minutes and 10 seconds. And that is what we like to see. And so that's what makes this practice models app pretty fun is that you can do it once, have your time recorded, and then later on you can come back in and you can say, try again and try to improve your time. You know, maybe practice some of your workflows, memorize some of the dimensions, whatever it is. What I like to do is practice the different workflows you know, maybe figure out some some uh, alternate ways to create the same feature. Like when we created that um, when we created that that hole that was going through there, we made it by locating it with a rectangle and then adding the hole as a second feature. Well, maybe it would have been faster to draw those circles, draw those six millimeter circles in the same sketch with the rectangle. So you can kind of test out different workflows and really try to refine and figure out which workflow is the fastest. And that way you'll be able to use these workflows in your day to day CAD activity. So if you enjoyed the speed run, be sure to hit the like button on this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or if you saw anything that you thought was pretty cool. And of course, be sure to join us on the Practice Models app over at TwoTallToby.com. I'll see everybody in the next speed run video.